the year is 2021. <laughs> and yet, Molly and Hannah are both wearing their jeans cuffed. I love it. I'm stopping in at a Dollar General on my way to do some other errands. So I'll turn the camera around. They have a lot of cute garden stuff. And maybe just, not even just garden stuff, but just household decor. These are cute. Well, that's really cute too. Let's see how much these are. Two bucks, that's so cheap. You couldn't make it for that cheap. That's really cute. Oh, look at him. Oh, that's adorable for $2. This is really cute too. Garland, $1 garden, and it's cement. Grows here. One dollar. Lots of cute fairy garden stuff. Ah, look at the bunnies. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. Piggy. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I might get some things for my fairy gardens. Oh, look at this. It's adorable. Nice little arrangement for three dollars. Oh, yeah, three dollars. It's cute for a tiered tray. And then some garden stuff. What are these? These are like the Dollar Tree. Three dollars. Although this is nicer. You could make that with a Dollar Tree one, though. Oh, pink. Look at that. Just looking a little more carefully at these. Look at these. Mickey and Minnie. Four dollars a piece. And then look at this owl. It's hiding its eyes. I mean, these are just adorable. And then this cow down here is really cute too. Oh, and there's a sheep. These are so fun. All right, I'm gonna go make some decisions. And I don't need any of these, but I thought I'd show you if you need cushions. These are very inexpensive. Eight dollars for a chair cushion. This is a bench cushion for 16. Good prices. Oh, and shepherd's hooks. I didn't even see those. My hands are now full. I should have gotten a cart, but that's okay. I'm in the Easter aisle and I thought these were really cute. I don't need them, but I like them. 250 for two towels. That's pretty good. Cute little pom-pom garden garland. Everything here is kind of picked over. I do need to get Easter basket candy, but I'm not doing that today. Okay, this is my lazy man's way out of doing a haul because then I don't have to get dressed for it. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you what I picked up at the Dollar General. So I got some things for my fairy garden. And I love this one. It's like a butterfly bench. And I got it also in white. And then I got the, the rocker, rocking chair, and a little pathway. I definitely meant to buy the bunny basket and I forgot. Oh, well. And then I got the, this owl because I actually have a similar owl. It's bigger. It's probably like twice the size, but very similar. Whoops. Um, I haven't known what kind of plant to put in there because I did have a succulent, but it wasn't getting enough sun. I think I'm just going to do a faux succulent just like this. And then I did get this cutie little guy. Oh, it's adorable. I love this thing. That was a dollar. So that is my dollar general haul. Also, I wanted to say, if you like my videos and you're enjoying coming to my channel, I post here once or twice a week on my home and garden channel. Please hit that subscribe button and the bell. I would be greatly appreciative. Daisy. <laughs> All right, so last year I had to get rid of a wicker sofa. We had had it for, what did we figure out, Gabe? 17 years. Really long time. <laughs> I, I'm 18. Yeah, <laughs> we got it when he was one. So I had to throw that out. And this year I purchased from Target this table and two chairs. And we are impressed that they were able to get it into one box. And I've now hired Gabriel to assemble it for me. Not that he wouldn't do it for free, but he hasn't really been able to work a lot because of COVID. So... Got it, got it. 
Got to support. You bats around. <laughs> Uh, instead of just giving him money, I let them earn it. So anyway, he's going to put this together and we'll show it to you when it's done. We're going to Home Depot. Going to the depot. Also, don't mind my face. It's breaking out because I've been out of the house a little more of late wearing a mask and it makes me break out. So it is what it is. What can you do? Anyway, we're going to go to Home Depot. We're looking for something specific. We are looking, I didn't want to record while we were backing up because it's kind of bumpy, but we're looking for something specific. We have an old coat rack and um, I want to use it at the shop, but it's currently in two pieces. We need a bolt. So we're going to look for a bolt. Very exciting stuff. I'm also going to look for some seeds because I haven't bought seeds in about two years. You're not supposed to use seeds beyond like the year you get them, but I always do. But it's time to refresh my seed collection. So I'm going to see what they have. I also wanted to show you, I switched my bag over to my thrifted summer bag. Oh, this is the back of it, but here's the front of it. Isn't it cute? It makes me feel very summery. I don't switch my bag with my outfit. I know that's a fashion faux pas, but I can't tell you how little I care about fashion. So <laughs> anyway, I'll show you the seeds. Maybe you'll like to see them. These are gorgeous. Now succulents need a lot of sun. So people will be drawn in and want to put these in their homes, but you can't have these in your houses unless you have a really sunny spot. Beauty little baby cactuses. Cacti? Cacti. And here we are, the seeds. Hmm. Thinking. The things I want to start inside are some herbs. Not inside, I'm going to do some winter sowing. And you're supposed to use cold weather veggies for that. And then in April, I can winter sow some warmer weather veggies. I'm gonna go with a lettuce blend. Salad bowl, looks interesting. And I think I'm gonna grow some parsley because the guinea pigs like it. Oh, and always snap peas, sugar snaps. Let's see, sugar daddy. I'm gonna grow me some sugar daddy. <laughs> There's some more, these are not organic. I'm not too particular, but I did decide to change out for this parsley instead. Come over here, where is it? Cause it says it's a dwarf variety. So that might do a little better in my little containers. I don't know. I don't really grow my own flowers because I just like them to be very well along so I can plant my pots. So that's not something I'll do, but I probably will get some tomatoes. Hmm, let's see. I am the only one in my house who eats tomatoes. And I like these cherry, super sweet 100 hybrid. Hmm. Looks interesting. 70 days to harvest. That's a long time for Minnesota. See, 49 days. Much better for Minnesota. These are not cherry tomatoes, but I would like to get one larger variety too. Oh, sweeties. Hmm. 65 to 70 days. New for 2021. Interesting. 67 to 70. Oh, so all the cherry ones are a long time to harvest. This one, Baby Boomer Hybrid, says 50 to 55 days. That's a little shorter. The yellow pear, 75, no, no. If they're that long to harvest, I usually just go buy some plants. Summer squash, zucchini, 57 days. These always die off for me. I don't know why, but I might try them again because that's just what I do. And not that I grow flowers. I did just pick up hollyhocks because that is something I've, we used to grow these at the shore, at the Jersey Shore. Woo, I'm dropping my stuff. At the Jersey Shore. And I've never had them here in Minnesota. So it says they'll grow here. So we'll see. And you don't need special soil to start your seeds. I mean, 
whatever. I, I always just grab this because it's here and I never have leftover potting soil from the previous year. But if you had leftover potting soil, you totally could use that. And this makes me so happy. These look like Polish pottery. Pretty, pretty. Some of these kind of... But I, I never buy <laughs> pots at stores unless they're on a really good sale because they're just so expensive. These are really pretty. They remind me of things I saw in Pottery Barn's catalog. Much cheaper than Pottery Barn, but not cheap enough for me. This is kind of cool. Nova Rectangle. Chris had to run back in to get something else. So I'm sitting in the car, but I thought I'd just give you the summary of what I wound up with. I wanted to show you more footage of the flower seeds, but then a lady came and she was shopping and she took a while. So I was like, ah, that's fine. No biggie. So I got some herbs. I got lemon balm. And so these I will winter sow now because you can do herbs now oregano and when i say winter so here in minnesota you you start your seeds in dirt in like milk cartons and plastic cartons and you actually put them outside and they they're it's like little mini greenhouses and you don't have to then harden off your plants because if you start plants inside you have this whole hardening off process it's not always successful anyway but if you winter sow, nature kind of does the work for you. So that's what I mean when I'm saying winter sowing. So those are the herbs that I got. Oh, and I also got the parsley for the guinea pigs. And then I got lettuce, the two kinds of lettuce. So these I will start now. Salad bowl and gourmet blend. So that'll be nice for our salads. I've very successfully done lettuce, both starting it outside and sowing it inside lettuce is easy so and then I also got these to start now the sugar daddies <laughs> but that was funny uh so that's good and then these I won't start I won't winter sow them until April the first week of April so like around Easter time I'm just gonna do tomato and tomato and zucchini probably a few zucchini plants and then because I don't do a huge vegetable garden I will buy some plants uh for some other things and I will probably direct sow my beans. Or maybe I'll try winter sowing them. I don't know. I have to read about beans. I don't know if they do well as winter sown or if you just have to direct sow them. So direct sow means put them right into the ground once the ground is warm enough. I have to read about the beans. But for most of my other veggies, I'll just buy plants. Because I don't do a huge vegetable garden. It's not a huge investment. But it's fun to start things from seeds. And that's mostly why I do it. It's not that I'm like a... I'm definitely not like a homesteader who's trying to save money because I just don't do I just don't have time to do a huge veggie garden where I'm like growing so much and canning it that's just not I just don't have time for that so anyway this is more of like a hobby garden so that's why I'm gonna give this a try and uh we'll see how it goes what that's steaming guilty pleasures gas station breakfast <laughs> what'd you get sausage egg and cheese on a biscuit I can't have cheese anymore. It's kind of a long story, but I suddenly became lactose intolerant. So I'm having donuts. All righty, I'll take it. Okay, we're at Ace Hardware looking for what we couldn't find at Home Depot, but then I decided to sneak over and look at the fairy garden things. Oh man, they have some cute stuff. Way cheaper prices at Dollar General, and I probably won't buy any of these, but I like to look. That is so cute. Mini like hummingbird feeder. Whoop. Their phone is ringing. And look, these are not too far off from what we saw at Dollar General, right? They're $7.59. Ah, I love getting a good deal. Hannah has emerged from her room. It's a rare occurrence. <laughs> um, our house is a mess. It is what it is. And Gabe has made some great progress. We were gone a little over an hour, he said. I don't remember what time we left. I would have been done faster, but I um, made a mistake. So I had to disassemble one. Oh, here's the chairs. Aren't they nice? I'll show it to you when it's all set up, but I'm really pleased. I think the set, how much was it, Gabe? 130 or something? It was not a lot of money for three pieces of furniture. Quite pleased. Good job, Gabe. 
Give a smile, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe is hoping to get a haircut soon. Our regular hairdresser has been on maternity leave. So. She's the one that does my hair as well. Yes. What are those little suction cups? For the glass. Oh, got it. Cool. Okay, here it is all put together. I wanted to show it to you outside, but it's snowing. <laughs> and I don't want to put it out in the snow. So I'm just showing it to you here. There is a glass top that goes here. That's not on there yet. And then I like it because I could put something decorative in there, which is kind of cool. So I'm really happy with it. And I think it was like $130. Oh, the tag is, the tag is showing. It's fine. Anyway, it's a nice replacement on the thing we had to get rid of. It seats two, so that's good. And plus now I have an extra table. Super excited. Here's the snow. It's not too heavy. And it's not really sticking to the road, so that's good. Just to the surfaces and the grass. My bird feeders are very active this year. And that set is going to go here with the chair, chair, table. Don't mind the window, we're replacing this window. It got damaged in a storm right before the snow fell last year, last in the fall. <laughs> so we just stuck purple duct tape over it. <laughs> but we are replacing that this spring. All right, I'm gonna close out the vlog here, but it's pie day and so I made chocolate pudding pie. I ate most of mine and hubby's eating his. Easy peasy and uh, delicious, so. Anyway, and our coffee table is still a mess. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. This is real life YouTube. <laughs> we had a good day though, and a good weekend. And we'll see you soon.